In the opening sequence of the film, Now You See Me, Jesse Eisenberg did a magic trick where he riffled through a deck of cards and told his audience, his spectator, and you watching at home to memorize the card that they see. He did it very briefly. He said, don't memorize the bottom card. That's too obvious. But he gave it a riffle through and said, hold on, that was, that was too fast. But really get one in your head this time. I'll slow down. And in just that motion alone, he knew the entire time exactly what card they were going to pick. And I'm going to teach you how he did it. <laughs> So there are really two ways to perform this effect. One is completely impromptu, you can do it with any deck of cards, anytime, anywhere, and the other requires uh, tape or rubber cement or some kind of adhesive and scissors. But the impromptu way is really easy. All it really is is just a card that's shorter than the card that you want to force. So let's say you want to force the six of clubs. The card directly underneath it is pulled behind really quick, or just a little bit, like less than an inch. All it is is your hands blocking anyone from seeing that it's pulled out. So when you riffle through, because this card's pulled down, it's gonna like skip a beat and it's gonna be shown for a split second no matter where it is in the deck. Practice and really rip open the deck as you do it, the six of clubs should still be the card that everyone sees. If you know what the person's going to pick, you can have something prearranged like Jesse Eisenberg's character did in the movie with the seven of diamonds showing up in the light. This is where you have to start mixing and matching ideas. That's the impromptu way. Just protrude that card out, the one that's directly below the card that you want to force them to see. So if you have some grand illusion ready, um, some kind of grand force card prediction set up, and you want to do something where the card vanishes from the deck, this is what you want to do. Pick the force card that you want. We'll use the three of diamonds and then pick a card that you don't care if it gets ruined. Just cut along the top portion here without getting any of the actual pip. Perfect, much better. So when you're doing this, do it on top of like a piece of paper so you're not like ruining your furnitures or anything. Now you only want to do the bottom portion because you don't want the cards to actually stick together. They still need to sp split out and they, so they can see a good portion of the three. Same with the three but only at the bottom of the face card because they're going to lay like this. Now rubber cement only adheres to rubber cement. Make sure to put your rubber cement side with your rubber cement side even, flat, just like that, perfect. I'm gonna take the scissors, do this little number. Double stick tape works perfectly and rubber cement works great just because it will like stay flat. The idea behind making this type of card is to make it seem like it's just one card from front and back. So now that you have this card made, what's cool about it is it can go anywhere in the deck. You can shuffle it and no matter where it is, as long as you look in the deck and you see which side has the strip in it, this side's, this side's even, this side has this little nick in it. When it comes time to do your big finale, do that big reveal of the Three of Diamonds, you can do that same one, and this one's clean because people saw you doing it the whole time, and you don't need to like really block over here much anymore as much as you do with the impromptu. So what you can do is you can hold it very clean, very fair like this, and just go like that, and still very fair, very clean. Now here's the smart thing to do in this situation. Let's turn the deck over, so now it's not riffled anymore. And then to go through and be like, tell me if you see your card in here. Do, 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 do. I feel it, it's right here. But they won't see this from the bottom, especially if you're spread through and your fingers are covering it like this. It disappeared from the deck. It may disappear and reappear here, or do this and it shows up on your arm or do something. This is the time to have like fun, be creative and just try different things. Don't stick with one thing. Try a bunch of different reveals and find out which one gets you the best reactions. Please subscribe if you haven't already, if you wanna learn how to disturb reality and learn powerful magic integrate with social dynamics, be inspired to learn, inspired to disturb, and always rise above. <laughs>